I thought I'd do some experimenting and put together a few circuits using the 741 op amp. Here's the pinout for the op amp. We've got the offset null at 1 and 5. And if you take a look at the specs for this 741, those go to a 1000 ohm resistor on the inverting and non-inverting side. I'm not going to use them uh, in this demo. I'm just going to use the default 1000 ohm resistor that's internal. And at pin 2 we have the inverting input and then 3 is the non-inverting input. 4 is V minus which is going to be 12 volts in this case. Then pin 6 is the output. Pin 7 is positive and I'm going to use 12 volts positive and 8 is not connected. This is the first circuit that I built. The input is using the non-invertive input and this is what it looks like on the breadboard. Here I've got the 741 configured in the non-inverting circuit. And I'm driving it with that generator. And this yellow lead here is the output. And looking at it at the scope, it's going up to channel 1, which is the top trace here. If you take a look at the setting of that switch, it's set at 1. And the bottom is set at dot 1. That's the generator. So we got some pretty good amplification too. And you can see that it is non-inverting. Here's the next circuit diagram and this time I'm using the inverted input and this is what it looks like on the breadboard. Doing a little experimenting and in this configuration same input we have this output you can see it's inverted but it's not 180 degrees out of phase This is the third circuit I built and it is a multi-vibrator and you can vary the frequency by changing the variable resistor, that 100k variable resistor. And this is the circuit on the breadboard. Okay, now I've got the 741 configured in a 
multi vibrator setup using a 100k variable resistor. There's the setup. There's the scope. I'll set this down. And then I'll vary the Turn off the lights here so you can see that better. There we go. And I'm going to vary the resistor here. Pretty nice multi vibrator. Here's the first circuit and the results we got. Pretty decent amplification and in phase. This is the second circuit I put together and we got even more amplification but it's slightly out of phase. Then this is the third circuit, the multi-vibrator. Works very well and here's the results with this circuit. The first two circuits could be the start of a very nice audio amplifier and the multi-vibrator has many uses. One of them would be as a signal generator. Anyway, I hope you do some experimenting and thanks for watching.